वेलकम टू टाइस आई एम हेयर एट स्टार्टअप महाकुम सेकेंड एडिशन एंड आई हैव विद मी मिस्टर प्रशांत एन हेड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप एंड ऑल्सो द को फाउंडर ऑफ मून राइडर वेलकम प्रशांत सो टू बिगिन विद आर कॉन्वर्जेशन सो वॉट इज मून राइडर एंड वॉट आर यू रियली बिल्डिंग फर्स्टली थैंक यू फॉर दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी मून राइडर इज एन ई बेस्ड इलेक्ट्रिक ट्रैक्टर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंपनी which is with tech enabled manufactured in india to rest of the world so how moon rider is really adding value to the industry how is it helping the users and the customers a very interesting question so uh, firstly uh, from since our childhood i'm sure you knew even you would have heard where people saying that farmers are backbone of the country or for the nation so what is that in from startup that farmers are being benefited is technology reaching to farmers is these questions which came up that's when we started as a moon rider analyzing many things started interacting with lot of farmers so at that particular time in gujarat uh, we met one progressive farmer who was riding electric bike so at that moment that gentleman asked us one thing when whole world is getting electrified be it in two wheeler be it in three wheeler be it in four wheeler why not tractor and that was a eureka moment and the founder of a company is mr anup and co-founder is mr ravi so they both were present at that time and that's where the idea stayed let's try building ev tractor and this is where we stand today uh, also prashant you know tractors are built to uh, bear more weight and you know more loads in comparison to small vehicles like a ev battery car or ev battery bike tractors uh, needs to be more sturdy how do you ensure that while making it ev uh, that, that that the strength is in place correct so again very interesting question actually this we converted into our advantage generally what happens when we want to build a massive ev vehicle like ev tractor we need space and weight as fallen into our advantage the battery pack what we have built for this big monster weighs somewhere around 600 to 700 kg so in tractor industry or in tractor the moment you have more weight that is good for tractor so the tractor stays firm in the land irrespective of the terrain irrespective of the farming uh, soil so this is into our advantage and this helped us put this big battery pack of 88 kilowatt in this big monster what is the battery life like how long it can uh, run in a single charge maybe so as i told you this is 88 kilowatt battery pack and this can be charged overnight with a slow charger and we also have a dc fast charger with fast charge this monster can be charged in less than 45 45 minutes and once the vehicle tractor is fully charged this can run easily up to 6 to 7 hours Uh, apart from you know uh, the tractor when it comes to the overall ev industry making an ev product includes a lot of you know compliances and regulations so how do you deal with them we are ensuring that we meet all the compliances and our vehicle will get into homologation homologation is a process where we will be certified by indian government that we are ready to sell with all the required approvals so in coming months we are targeting by the end of next month our our vehicles will get into homologation mode and post that within less than 2 months we would be production ready also uh, as i am a wear moon riders team is a, a team of automobile engineers so when you come from the corporate side you know and get into entrepreneurship and it comes with a lot of challenges you know be it terms be it in terms of finances be it in terms of experience and everyday challenges so what were your initial challenges and how the team made sure to overcome them efficiently again a interesting question it takes back to our older days uh, as i told you when my founder started this uh, company around say 2 and 1/2 years back we were in a very small place in bangalore outskirts of bangalore it was hardly around 300 square feet today we are proudly we are proudly we are proud and happy to say today we are in a facility with 2000 25000 square feet in prime place in bangalore thanks to our investors who trusted in us and thanks to our initial bootstrap team who helped us grow so grow to this heights so this is where we are uh you also mentioned in uh, in the beginning that you have already exported one tractor to africa so what are your future plans how are you going to expand and you know uh, collaborate more in future 
Firstly, let me tell my African experience. So I was with my tractor in Africa. Uh, so people in Africa, they were totally surprised to see an EV tractor because still EV cars also has not reached in that massive way in African countries. So we were in Kenya. A city called as Nairobi. So once we showed there, the good thing in Nairobi is even ladies drive tractor. So I spoke to one lady uh, who is an entrepreneur and who herself drive tractors. So she was speaking very loudly with me and she was not able to hear, hear me properly. Then when I understood this lady driving this diesel tractor uh, from more than five to six years, you know, our listening capabilities has reduced because the tractor make that big noise. And when I told her, I know I have bought you an EV tractor, which is uh, noiseless, pollutionless, and much more easier to ride. It was basically unbelievable for her. The moment she started riding, she did not get on of my EV tractor for more than two hours. And that inspires us to do this kind of a product and make it reach to different parts of the world. So this was our experience with the uh, African market. And we are in touch with an a few companies in Africa and we're looking at huge numbers in coming future. All right. Thank you so much, Prashant, for connecting with Thais. Thank you. It was a pleasure talking. I hope we will reach out to all Indian farmers very soon. Thank you.